Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm setting up the incubator to start the chicks incubating. So right now it's the mid, almost end of July. What's the date today? So here I wrote all the numbers for me that um, um, the temperature and humidity and everything because it's been a few years since I've done the incubating. I did incubating a lot, a lot of times, but it's been at least five years since the last time I did it. So, so chicks are supposed to, the eggs are supposed to incubate for 21 days. Temperature um, between 99.5 to 100 degrees, okay to go to 101, um, but no more than 102. Otherwise, it's, it might be dangerous for their lives. And the humidity should be between 58 and 60. And, but on the day 18, See, like I have a turner here that I'm planning to use. On day 18, I have to get them out of the turner, take the turner away, and lower the temperature to 98.5. And humidity goes up by to 66 to 75%. So that's the plan. That's the reminder I wrote for myself to not forget to do it. Here, if you want to take a screenshot for a later reference. Right now it's still empty because I need to make sure it stabilizes the temperature here. That's the kind of incubator I have if anybody's interested. I got it on eBay a long, long time ago, like seven, eight years ago maybe. Maybe longer, I forgot. So here's the temperature regulator to um, increase or increase or decrease. So if I want to increase, I go this way, decrease the other way. And so until I figure out like was the temperature going to be, I mean, no. was, which is the most um, perfect setting to do the temperature of the 99.5 to 100 degrees. That's what it's going to be. I poured a little bit of water in, in there. I'm going to show you later to see the humidity thing. Um, so like I said, it's uh, July 23rd right now. They should be hatched by mid-August. So I'll keep them in the brewer until like end of October and then I'll go in the um, my small chicken coop. And here, I don't want to open it. Maybe I won't. Oh, where's my... That's the f like half broken flashlight I have to deal with. Okay, you probably can't see it. Well, I have like three thermometers here. One... Just the temperature showing like 98. This one here, 55% humidity so far, and 96.8 the temperature. And it shows different one than here. This one says 88 humidity and uh, 98 temperature. So I have the egg turner. I'll put the eggs in there later. Hopefully I'll film it when I'm going to do it again. So the egg turner is off for right now, just the incubator is on. So once the temperature will stay the way I need it for at least, supposedly 24 hours, but I hope in at least 12 hours to uh, where I need it, I can put the eggs. And I already um, prepared some eggs. So I have 42 spaces for the eggs. And here I selected the best cleanest ones that don't have any poop on them um like this is just a little bit dirt so um but uh, the perfectly would be like you would get the ones that don't have like any dirt on them at all and don't wash them so i got those eggs over the last four days or so and yeah, I'll be putting those in the incubator, and they're ready to, and I'm just going to keep them here for now, so when the temperature will stabilize, and for the humidity, I can add some water, and I already did add it some, so that's why the humidity is like, otherwise it would be like 30%, because that's what we have in the house, the humidity is a little bit higher there now, so once it stabilizes, so it goes on and off. Once it stabilizes, I, I'm going to add the eggs. Okay, the reason why I'm hatching chicks in the middle of the summer, I mean, they'll be hatched like in the middle of August, actually, end of summer, 
is because um, it takes six months for a chicken to start laying eggs. So if I would hatch it, if normally people would hatch their eggs in like April or May, let's say you would hatch your eggs in May. So um, June, July, August, September, October. Um, ideally, they would need to start laying in October. But if it gets too cold before they can start laying, they're going to delay their laying all the way till like maybe March. So you're going to end up feeding that chicken for another few months with no eggs. Um, if I uh, if they get hatched, like let's say in the middle of August, so September, October, November, December, January, February. So, but mid February is when they're turning six months. So in, in like March is the perfect time for them to start laying eggs. So they would actually start laying eggs at six months um, when they're supposed to. So I don't have to feed them for an extra three four months for nothing. And I had chickens before, chicks uh, hatching before um, at the end of the summer. And I bought some chicks also at the end of the summer before. And I think this is a more economical way to get eggs from them. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. Oops, let me see, show you. The temperature has been stable for almost like since this morning. It was um, 100 degrees here, but I have uh, three thermometers here. And they're all showing different temperatures. So it's on top of the um, turner is 100 degrees. And I have this thermometer, which is showing like about 103. And then I have this one. This one is a little bit lower. That's why it's showing 96. And the humidity is 65 on the bottom here and 61 on top. The humidity will go down once um, I'll open the lid to put the eggs. These are the eggs I got from my chickens. The temperature and humidity will drop because it's going to take me at least 2-3 minutes to put all the eggs in. Okay guys, as you can see all the eggs are in. The temperature and humidity dropped. But um, once I close it, hopefully within a couple hours, it's going to get back to normal. So I just closed the lid. See, the temperature is kind of low. But it will go back and the humidity is also low. It's gonna go back up and I turned on the turner. So it's gonna keep on turning. See that, that a thermometer is on like the bottom. So um, I'm more gonna rely on those, the ones on top of the eggs, to make sure it doesn't go more than one on one for the top and probably no less than like 90 six for the bottom sorry you can't always see good i'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature i'll be around here for the next few hours at least not going anywhere so yeah and hopefully the temperature will level off and i don't have to adjust anything um, let me know if you're setting any eggs and what time of the year is the best time of the year for you to do it yeah it's only been like two minutes it's already going up the humidity and the temperature I can't really remember now, but I think here they were two weeks old when I filmed this. That's how big they got. So here they are, almost three months old, and they're getting big. So two more months, maybe three months, three more months, and in February they should start giving eggs. Getting ready for winter. I hope you are too.